Hey guys, today we're gonna show you how to make a quick and easy three ingredient buffalo chicken in our slow cooker. All while having a whole lot of fun. In three, two, one. kitchen we are here today to show you a very delicious three ingredient buffalo chicken slow cooker recipe sent to us by crack posse member donna g hey donna oh donna <laughs> that's all i know of that song but if i could sing the rest of it it would go something like thank you for this awesome recipe yes. of buffalo chicken it was so funny i um made and tested this recipe last week and Addie and Mikey were busy working on the deck and all of a sudden um, a little they didn't get it when I first made it they got it during the leftover phase and all of a sudden I started getting all this hey that was really good what was that and so you guys made tacos out of yours didn't we you? did we we were outside we are revamping our back deck uh, we're calling it Redneck Party Deck 2.0 for y'all have been keeping it up. <laughs> She's not. It's going to be filled with tiki torches. No, and <laughs> it isn't. We're still talking about the design of it. But Miss Ed and I were tearing up the old boards and everything and working hard. And it was hot and we wanted something good to eat. So we came in and I'm like, oh, well, you know, she made that buffalo chicken recipe to test it out yesterday. I think we'll try it out. So I heated up some for me and her. And Miss Ed, if you know anything about her, she likes Slap Your Mama, but she's not much for hot stuff. And so I was kind of worried because it has hot sauce in it that she wasn't going to like it. And she loved it. Yeah. And I did too. They're wonderful. Well, and we need to clarify something going back to the redneck party deck for y'all. I'm not going to be tiki. He's not tearing up the one he built uh, for that y'all were part of the last yes, time. No, this is the new one. That's why people are confused when oh. you say 2.0. They think you're tearing up the old no, one no, no, and no. building See, a new we, one. We have the redneck party deck towards the front of our house yes. and the back deck has been neglected so we're going to start from scratch and make a gigantic deck back there that we're going to have a great big crop posse party on <laughs> at some point. Y'all are invited whenever it gets done. Probably around Christmas. <laughs> But anyway, back to the so, recipe. Yes, so this is three ingredients. We have lots of buffalo chicken recipes on recipes at crock.com. Um, Aunt Lou usually does that. That's one of the flavors that her family just loves. So as soon as I saw this message come in for Donna, I was like, I'm going to do this one. Um, Donna sent me a couple recipes that she said she likes doing low carb style. And so since that's something that our family does, I thought, okay, we're going to give this a try. Mm -hmm. And I apologize for our friend, the fly. The building has been going on, and so the doors have been open, and... There he is. There See he him? is. There. Sorry. If I had some chopstick, I'd show... Maybe I'd use my tongs. No. 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 Never mind. <laughs> it's real life, y'all. But anyhow, three ingredients. Here we go. So a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken, whatever you would prefer. So if you like boneless, skinless breasts, put them in there. Tenders. Um, we are using thighs because that's what we had. I like thighs, well, mainly just because we're a thigh family, but uh -huh. also it kind of, especially with the buffalo chicken, it reminds me just of like chicken wings. Yeah, it has it has that kind of flavor, and so um, and that is a very good point because chicken wings are chicken wings. Chicken wings. Are chicken dark wings meat. are dark meat. Yes, mm -hmm. so it does kind of it does uh, definitely do that flavor. So we've got a pound and a half in a six quart slow cooker. The original recipe. On the website, we did it in a four quart slow cooker to let it cook four to six hours. Um, if you're using six quart, your time will probably be less because this is not really filling up that crock pot. So we've got uh, a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken down in the bottom. You just take an envelope of ranch. We are using creamy dill ranch it's less carbs and we like that little pickle like flavor mm -hmm. in there it adds a big deal to it yeah <laughs> you can use regular if you'd like um, but before i'm going to pour this in there i am going to pour in a cup of buffalo wing sauce this is frank's just because that's what we, we put have. that stuff on everything yeah <laughs> and so just a cup remember. of your favorite wing sauce mm -hmm. Um, if you're eating low carb, check your carbs. And I believe, I believe this is zero carb. It's low carb. It's all vinegar yeah. and peppers, and it yeah. really, ooh, it's I'm a little spicy by itself. But there's something about that ranch 
that kind of yeah. cuts the heat of it. Yep, and it, cuts it adds it a, little a lot bit. of flavor. Yes, and so I just sprinkle this over the top of everything else. Real hard stuff here. Put the lid on, cook on low until the chicken begins to fall apart. Um, if you are cooking breasts, it's going to take even less time probably than the thighs. Um, because the breasts will get chalky if you cook them too long. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to cook this on low. Um, I probably, if you're using a six quart for this little amount of chicken, I would probably be checking it around the three hour mark just to check. You um, will know when it's edible when it becomes shreddable. Yes. And there's two ways that you could shred this stuff. This is a finished product I made earlier today. Same thing, six chicken thighs. Now I will say this, as far as the flavor goes, you might see this on my face. We ran out of Franks and all we had were some other hot sauces. So I kind of mixed a whole bunch of stuff together. Some Franks, some Louisiana hot sauce, some Texas hot sauce. <laughs> Shout out to Texas, I miss you guys. <laughs> but so it could be a little hotter. I don't know. So right. I'll be the test dummy well, for and this you're, one. You're wearing your sauce already. Ooh. I don't know how that happened, but I get everything on me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my chicken thighs. Oh, I can tell you they're shreddable already because they're falling apart with my tongs. And you could shred them with a fork. Two or forks. if you want to go super fast, which I will show you again with this simple little method is take your chicken thighs, and I guess really with six thighs it's really not that big of a deal, but let's say you're making a bunch of this, like maybe three pounds or something, or you just want to look cool in front of your friends or your crock posse, you take your chicken thighs and put them in your mixing bowl, and then you put them... Save those juices. Save those juices, and the tongue just went down there. I'll clean that up later, you know me. And then, excuse me. Um, here, I'm gonna take this before you... you it's hot. Out. Okay, I'm alright. Before you dump. Okay, I it. thought it was hot. And then I'm just gonna simply put this up there. And I'm gonna watch it because I wanna have shredded chicken, not cat food. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, stop! That's it. 15 seconds in the standalone mixer. As soon as I can find my handle. And you know what? I just realized something. This is bad product placement. <laughs> Crock posse right there. But that's it. Take this out and I'm going to put it. Return it to the juices. Back in my juices. What'd you do with my tongs? I got rid of them because. That's okay. This is this is a good. This, this is kind of like a spatula. Mixer kind of thingy. And mix them back in the juices. That'll help the uh, chicken to stay really juicy and flavorful. Um, and that's how I would store yeah, it too. Stay there. Stay there. I gotta, get, <laughs> I gotta. Oh my love. <laughs> gotta sneak in a hug when you can. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm willing to try this if you really want me to. Yes. So give it a try. Let's give it a shot. Three ingredients. Is it hotter than usual? A little bit. <laughs> but so good. Oh my goodness. Yes. Now, um, Donna was saying that she likes to serve this over a great big salad and then drizzle prepared ranch dressing over it. I just eat it as it is, shredded with whatever sides I'm having. Oh, drizzled. mine in a low-carb tortilla with some ranch dressing and some tomatoes. There you go. Or it's also good. I've also had it over a uh, riced cauliflower. So that's something else that you could you could just serve it up all kinds of different ways. Um, but this is like super simple, super fast. Also freezer friendly. Like if you want to make up a big batch and then put some in the freezer so you'll have a lunch every once in a while. Uh, did that added heat add a little heat here? Just, <laughs> if you see my face getting red, I'm not just blushing because of the beautiful woman next to me. All right. But that's easy, pretty simple, huh? Yeah. And that's what we do around here. Sometimes it's simple and easy, just like our marriage. No. No.
it, it, that's okay. never been simple. But you know easy. what? <laughs> it's just as hot. Oh, goodness. We want to thank you for watching another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. And if you like what you saw down here, down there, we would like for you to click that little like button. And if you have not become a member of the Crock Posse, then please click the subscribe button and welcome to the family. And there's a little bitty bell next to the subscribe button. We call it my ding -a -ling. Click my ding -a -ling and we'll let you know exactly when we put some up anytime we do. And whatever you do, we want you to laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye, guys. A little chicken. We're out of practice. A little bit. And three, two, one. Hey. Are you, are you starting this one? Yeah, it's been a couple weeks since we've done one of these. So. Yeah. Ready? Oh, I don't need a countdown. I can just start. Action. Oh, come on. Good. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing,